I wasn't expecting this many. I mean, I know it's sold out, but there's a lot of people here. <laughs> I'm glad we're by the exit. <laughs> yeah. Hi guys, good morning. We are getting ready to go to see Jason Nash downtown at the comedy, comedy club slash restaurant. It's gonna be fun and exciting. And yes, still waking up a little bit, a little bit. Well, we're downtown. We found the parking garage. It's the most stressful part of doing anything downtown is finding where you're gonna park. So we're here, and there's like a bazillion people. I wasn't expecting this many. I mean, I know it's sold out, but there's a lot of people here. <laughs> I'm glad we're by the exit. <laughs> yeah. It only took about 45 minutes, but we got food. This is the best she came to support me today, which is really nice. Even though Jason didn't come to any of my shows, I'm not serious. He didn't come to any of my shows, not one. I have kids. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule of taking people to the wall and driving your $150,000 car to friends. So the show was a lot of fun. I don't I don't know how much you could really see or hear because there was yelling, but Jason had Trish out like most of the time, like a lot of the time. And then I didn't film, but he brought out Scott and Todd and Jeff from I'm sure you guys know them. If you watch David Dobrik and it's just people that they film with, they have their own channels as well. And then David Dobrik came out, which you saw, that was completely unexpected. I didn't think any of those people were going to come, especially not David. And that was cool. So, the show was good. The food was okay. And there was like a bazillion and a half people there. It was sold out, like we said. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was way better than I thought it was going to be. Like, way, way better. So, did you like the show? Yeah, it was... Uh, she was happy about... She's happy about Trish. She likes Trish a lot. I mean, I don't know about a lot, but I like <laughs> Trish. She liked Trish the best out of everybody that was there, including Jason. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But no, it was a surprising show. I like their group of friends, too. Like, they're fun to watch. And... There was, a, like, a brief Q&A after... And one of the questions, because they did the Q&A when David Dobrik was up there, and one of the questions was the kid asked what size shoe he wears. Oh. And then David was like a 12, and then the kid was like, oh, I have a 12 too. And they literally changed shoes. So that was cool. David was like, what kind of shoe is it? And did he say Adidas? Yeah, he had Adidas, and then David, I think he had some red Vans. Yeah, David had Vans, and then they li yeah. the kid literally ran up and switched shoes with David. It was really cool. Yeah, David's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Switch shoes with the kid. But yeah, that was nice. But the show was really cool. You could tell a lot of the stuff Trish did with Jason was all improv, because they started talking about like arguments and then how you Jason. Think so? What? You think so? Yeah, because I feel like a lot, some of this stuff wasn't planned. Trish, that's what I meant. Like it was totally improv. Like, oh, improv. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I like feel, I feel like they just kind of winged the whole. Show. No, it seems like it said there the was only like. Thing that was planned out was the PowerPoint. There was a couple PowerPoint presentations. Yeah, but all the other stuff was pretty much you could tell because Trish started bringing up, or David brought something they up. They brought up pretty personal stuff and we're talking about it. I feel like it, the whole thing was. Pretty much a therapy session for all of them. Yeah, it was really, really good. 
We, yeah, I liked it. I was glad to. Because they were all saying things that bothered, like them. So I was about everyone else. Yeah. But even, they were laughing about it. Yeah, even when Scott and Todd were coming up, they asked him like personal stuff, and Jason made Scott do a rap and asked Todd about Corinna, and it was funny. So yeah, it was oh, good. Yeah, and David said that he took. Oh, Liza, Liza yeah, twice, <laughs> yeah, and David apparently drinks beer, which I didn't know. No, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, he said Corona Light. He doesn't really drink beer. Oh. Yesterday, you just happened to drink a few beers. Oh, but then they asked, what they alcohol do you drink, and, and really David drink. was like, Corona Light. Yeah, but they don't all really drink that much, because I've always heard that David don't drink so light when he gets too drunk, so he doesn't really drink. Oh, that's because he weighs like... He was little. He's little. He's probably, I would say he's probably like five six. Yeah. He's short. Like 140, he, he 150 exactly pounds. I would think he looks. He tall. looks smaller than I thought he would. He looks small to me. You think he looks tall on camera? No, not tall. Small. Like he looked skinnier than I. Like I always known he's skinny, but seeing him in person, he just looked. He looks how I would envision him to look. So does Trish. Trish, I've, yeah, Trish looked exactly how I thought. Same with, Jason probably looked a little bigger, which is funny, but. I think they all looked how they look in, on camera. Yeah. Like, I mean, from a, we were kind of, we weren't far, but we weren't that far. No, like, the whole place is either, pretty personal, like. Bodies. Yeah, yeah. All the seats, I'm, the seats we got were perfect. We were up against the wall in a booth. We didn't have to sit on a stupid table, and it was nice where we were sitting, so yeah, it worked nice. out. Filming, and then some we got yelled at it for filming. Security guard comes and stands in front of my camera, and I'm like, dude, this guy needs to get out of my way. And then I look at him, and he's like, you need to stop filming. Like, yeah. I was about ready to be like, right. <laughs> right when David Delbert came out, there was like three security guards running around the whole place telling people to stop filming. Like, they were doing it to everybody, but. Yeah, I saw a few people get kicked out. Yeah. I, maybe it was the people that threw stuff on stage. No, Dave was just kidding. I don't know. Somebody yeah, know, tossed something on stage and... Yeah, but I don't think they have any tolerance for that kind of stuff. Oh, David made a big joke about it. I was like, what the F is this? And he threw it back and then started laughing. So, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, it was a good show. Totally worth it. Better than I thought. I know. Yeah, better than... Jason didn't do stand-up the whole time. He only did it for like a few minutes. Yeah, for a few minutes. He did... Well, I filmed Lol Lolita, Lolita, whatever his... <laughs> Yeah, well, that like Carm Carmelita, Carmelita. He did that skit, which was funny, cause that's like his funniest bit in my opinion. And then, yeah, he only did stand up for yeah, like five, ten, fifteen minutes at the very beginning, and that was it. He really bags on his looks a lot. Hey, well, yeah, he does, and his age, his age, how he's overweight, and and, he's 45 on and he does the whole I forget my kid's name thing all the time too. But oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, he does that a lot. But it was funny. It's all funny. It was totally worth it. I forget how much I paid for the tickets. I think it was like 150 for both. Oh, really? Yeah. That's and, more than it. Oh, and then the food wasn't too bad either. So it wasn't too bad. It was pretty good for what it was. But it was fun. Today was a fun day and now it is almost over. We're currently watching Bridge of Spies. Is that what this is called? Yeah. You a butterfly? No, it does feel like I do it all the time when I'm by myself. But, uh, bedtime. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. And good night. Good night, Nick.